Slavery, colonization, forced relocation, and other historically traumatic events in generations past have lingering and profound consequences today. But what is historical trauma? Historical trauma has to do with collective, cumulative emotional wounding over and across generations that results from massive cataclysmic events. These are events that don't just target an individual, but they target a whole collective community. Things like forced relocation from traditional homelands, like the Trail of Tears, like my ancestors went through. But the process that our communities talk a lot about is that the trauma is held personally and, it's, and can be transmitted over generations. So even family members who have not had a direct experience of the trauma itself can feel the effects of that event generations later. Studies have actually shown that members of minority groups Jewish, indigenous people, that the trauma that their ancestors and descendants have experienced has transcended down into their souls. What I mean when I say historical trauma is to like the generational wealth and the generational knowledge, in particular with veterans in, in the minority community. And a trauma that has occurred that's been passed down from generation to generation. Hi, my name is Tracy Tart. I'm a former United States Airman Strategic Air Command. My interview is going to be about African American veterans and some of the issues that they have faced before they went in and some of the issues that they faced after they come out. In particular, post-traumatic stress, possible drug usage, homeless, or if, if they didn't, how were they able to overcome? And then the goal of the, for this interview is to be able to uh, talk about historical trauma, what a lot of African Americans have experienced in their lifetime, whether it was segregation or other parts of their life. And historical trauma is a lack of generational wealth, a lack of generational knowledge. And, and to be able to get the resources so, so we can pass it on to another generation. When I think about the Veterans Hospital, they can have therapy for PTSD, post-traumatic stress syndrome, military sexual tra uh, trauma, combat trauma, but they don't have anything about historical trauma. But the time period that I came up in, West Virginia, blacks and whites had only been going to school for 15 years, and my mother's a schizophrenic. This is the type of trauma that we're talking about. They didn't care about black people coming up. And so I'm going home every day to a mother who's hearing voices. And I couldn't tell her what her pain and, that I was experiencing in school because the teachers didn't care. And also, we didn't have the resources. And that traumatized a lot of people. But as I got older, and I'm starting to realize that a lot of black people still have anger towards the white man, towards the government. And as I'm starting to, uh, the key is to learn, get more research because, and incrementally help other men and women veterans and minorities to better their selves and to start finding, being able to talk with psychologists and psychiatrists who understand about the trauma, whether it was from their parents being in Jim Crow segregation days and also the pain, whether it's been from low income communities. And that's what I call the lack of wealth. And also with mental health, that is called the lack of generational knowledge. A lot of veterans have experienced trauma in the, in the military and then the trauma that they've experienced even coming up. And then later on as I get into this documentary, we're going to address the issues of white supremacy and white privilege because that has also traumatized members of minority groups. And I'm going to address that by speaking with white Americans and get other points of view. And this is the goal right now is to develop this documentary with uh, uh, other veterans, other members of minority groups, because the, the best way to, for, to address trauma sometimes is about talking about it. And it actually helps a person to heal. And then when others hear it, they'll actually know how to relate to them. So this is one of the issues I'm going to be addressing. This project is supported in part by the National Endowment for the Arts on the web at 
www.arts.gov. Historical trauma, which means the lack of generational wealth, the lack of generational knowledge, and a trauma that has occurred with generations into the descendants, whether it was indigenous people, whether it was Japanese people, victims of the Holocaust, including the descendants of the slaves. Even though people wasn't alive when some of these things occurred, they still feel the pain. It has transcended into their souls. You can have therapy for PTSD, you can have therapy for other types of trauma, but in particular, with people of color, there's hardly no therapy for the historical trauma. The anger, some of the things that they have been denied, incarceration, poverty, and they don't feel like there's no hope. And we're living in the most wealthiest country in America. And I want people to see that you can better your life. And there is resources and, and I, can, I know their pain. And I want to be able to let them know, hey, you're not alone. If you'd have seen me 30 years ago, I was a very angry man. And I decided, hey, this, this the trauma that I've seen as a kid, it transcended into me. And now it's the key to find the resources and to pass, leave a legacy to another generation, which I didn't have. <laughs>